Underway, round number one for the Bantamweight gold medal at 54 kilograms. Reimkul Malikbek off in the red. Guillermo Rigondeur from Cuba in the blue. Both southpaws. Rigondeur does have enormous power in his left hand. He's knocked out one opponent. He's knocked down another. And Reimkul Malikbek off. Well, he's going to have to be very careful indeed against this 20-year-old from Cuba. In fact, Guillermo Rigondeur in the blue turns 20 years old today. He wants a gold medal to celebrate his birthday. He scores first here against Reimkul Malik Bekov. Malik Bekov at 171 centimetres is five centimetres taller than Rigondeur. He's a former junior world champion, the Cuban. Malik Bekov has a big edge in experience in terms of he took out the gold medal at the World Amateur Championships in 1995 and again in 97. He had to settle for silver in Houston last year. He's looking to add to the bronze medal he picked up in Atlanta. He's weathered the storm so far. And the challenge has really been put to the Cubans here. They haven't dominated as much as they did in Atlanta. In fact, Russia are going to finish with five finalists, and the Cubans will finish with four alongside Kazakhstan. And then you go back to the United States and the Ukraine, who both have two finalists. The two Americans will go tomorrow in their respective gold medal bouts. Bantamweight division, or 54 kilograms, was where Ollie Taylor won a bronze medal for Australia way back in Rome in 1960. Nice sharp punching there from both men. In a very even opening round, very evenly matched. And at the end of round number one, it's Guillermo Rigondeur who sits down with a one-point advantage. Yes, both young fellas a little bit sort of cautious in his first round. Um, of course, I can't blame them. But uh, with a strange feeling that this will turn into quite a battle as the uh, rounds progress because um, we seriously do have a big puncher here. We just held back a little bit, and as you can see in the slow motion replay, some very straight, very good punches being thrown here. Reimkul Malik Bekov. He loses his first round of the tournament here in the opening stanza for the gold medal against Yemo Rigondeur. <laughs> Underway round number two for the bantamweight gold medal. Reimkul Malik Bekov, a southpaw in the red with a height and reach advantage against a fellow southpaw, Yemo Rigondeur of Cuba. Rigondeur has won 13 consecutive rounds now here in Sydney, taking the opening stanza by a single point. Bantamweight division has been kind to Australia in terms of the professional ranks. We've had some great champions. Jimmy Carruthers back in the 1950s. Lionel Rose, of course, won Bantamweight world title against Fighting Harada. And more recently, we've seen Jeff Fennick pick up the IBF Bantamweight title back in 1985. But now, Reimkul Malik Bekov in the red is back on level terms here. Up to just over 30 seconds of round number two. Now he's taken the lead. It's been a three points to one round so far for Reimkul Malik Bekov in the red. for Cuba they have four boxers involved including the great man Felix Savon in the heavyweight division it's not a very exciting bout but it's certainly technically a very very good one Malik Bekov of course is uh, sort of slowly sneaking away from uh, from the Cuban boy it's a very interesting bout because um, it's almost like playing chess, these two boys. Certainly as tentative as we have seen Guillermo Rigondeur throughout the tournament. No one has actually been able to score more than six points against him in a complete fight up until this stage. Concluding stages of round number two. 
And Ramkul Malik Bekov has seven points at the moment. Second round honours go with Ramkul Malik Bekov. He leads by a point at the halfway stage. Well, I must say they certainly are both very cautious and they're very careful at the um, how they approach each other because um, there has certainly not been a great deal of punches thrown. There have been some very accurate punches thrown, but not too many. They have not wasted any. Is some of the better action from round number two. Guillermo Rigondeur, for some reason, has gone away from his game plan, which is full on attack. Showing a lot of respect for Ramkul Malik Bekov, and the 26 year old from Russia deserves it because three times he's fought the top prize at the World Amateur Championships. He reached the semi-finals in Atlanta, and here he is at the main event in Sydney. <laughs> Underway, round number three for the Bantamweight gold medal, 54 kilograms or eight stone seven in the old money, and it is Guillermo Rigondeur from Cuba, a southpaw, who now gets a little busier. We expected this earlier from him against Reimkul Malik Bekov, the Russian, also a southpaw. He has tremendous knockout power in the left hand, Rigondeur. We've already seen it here in the tournament. So far, well, he's just paced himself through the first two rounds, and that previous round was the first one that he's lost in the tournament. There's no doubt that these two men were the best in the bantamweight division. They came through a 28-man field. And we've finished with the best two. As now, Guillermo Rigondeur retakes the lead. He's a very strong punter. As you can see there, those were taken on the gloves by Malik Malikbekov. Nice left hand from Guillermo Rigondeur as a scoring punch. Three without an answer in this round from Guillermo Rigondeur in a seesawing battle for the gold medal. Well, the one thing is for sure that both these young fellas are going to walk away with a medal. Everything just depends on the colour. Again, both these young fellas have been very technical. They're not letting all hang out here. They're not wasting punches. This, this fight could go either way. It was effective left hand there from Ryan Malik back off to add to his tally, but certainly Rigondeur has been the more accurate of the two in this round. Four points to one. And after trailing by a point going into this round, he now leads by a point. Yemo Rigondeur in the blue. Final ten seconds, round number three. Well, we're set for a very exciting finish here. Guillermo Rigondeur from Cuba leads by two going into the final round against Ryan Kul Malik Bekov. Yes, again, I would have thought that um, the fellas would have uh, increased the work rate, but they haven't. In fact, if anything, they've uh, sort of become a little bit more cautious. Admittedly, there's a lot, a lot riding on this. A gold medal, of course. But um, the cleaner punches are definitely coming from the uh, blue corner. Yes, look, and uh, although he is known for his fighting ability, he's uh, certainly taken a very cautious uh, action against this young Russian. Maybe there's good reason for it. Fourth and final round for the Bantamweight gold medal here at the Sydney Olympic Games. It's Reimkul Malik Bekov from Russia in the red with a height and reach advantage against Guillermo Rigondeur from Cuba. He celebrates his 20th birthday today. Will it be with a gold medal? He leads by two. But Malik Bekov is a very experienced campaigner and scores first here in the final round. Two edged to within a single point. We've seen bouts decided already here with the last punch inside two or three seconds. And well, now Rigondeur starts to open up to get back to that two-point lead. We've seen quite a high percentage of southpaws here in this tournament, and two of them are battling for the Bantamweight gold medal. The moment Rigondeur is just backing him up. 
just keeping him at bay. He wants to keep Malik Beck off away from the target area. And now he leads by three with a little over 60 seconds remaining. Malik Bekoff's going to have to step up the tempo. Doesn't need big shots, but he needs some clean shots now because Rigon Dur is at three points to one. And is closing in on the gold medal. Now it's a very big ask for Ryan Kul Malik Bekoff. Four points to one in this round from Rigon Dur. He leads by five. We count down the last 30 seconds here for the gold medal in the bantamweight division. Nice left hand from Malik Bekoff. Malik Bekoff, well, we haven't seen any evidence of knockout power already in this tournament, so you would think that it's a big ask. It's going to be Guillermo Rigondeur, the Cubans who dominated Atlanta with four gold medals are going to pick up their first here at the Sydney Olympics and Guillermo Rigondeur who turns 20 today celebrates with a gold medal Well, a seesawing affair. Rigondeur led by a point at the end of the first round. Malik Bekoff was in front at the halfway stage, 7-6. But then in the second half of the fight, it was 12 points to 5 in favour of Guillermo Rigondeur. And when they hand out the Val Barker Cup, which is awarded to the best boxer overall in the tournament, well, Guillermo Rigondeur's name certainly has to be considered. He fought 16 rounds here in Sydney, Rigondeur, and he lost one. But he's going to get the big prize. It's the gold medal. Well, I must say, Rigondo did win that. Uh, not easily, but certainly was technically he was the, he was the, he was the better fighter. This is round number two for the light flyweight gold medal between Rafael Lozano of Spain in the red, a southpaw, working against Brahim Azlum of France, a 21-year-old with an enormous future. Azlum.